Hello humans, I'm Bling Pop Shift. It's day one of my artist retreat up here in the woods of Northern California. As you can see, it is fall all around. The trees are turning every color. Oof. One of the best parts of artist retreats is uh, getting disoriented. Oh, this morning when I woke up, I realized that the sun rises in completely the opposite direction of what I expected. Um, and east and west were completely inverted. Go someplace where your usual context is different and your mind will change. Places change the way you think and it's important for artists because the way that you think is the way that you make your work and it will change the way that you make your work. Hey, future M here. I just realized I lost a bunch of footage because stuff got corrupted or something. So I wanted to try and recreate one of the thoughts I had while I was at the retreat and then I'll send you back over to Forestville. I've been on YouTube for a while now and I've done- Callie, you are literally bumping into my- Do you want to be in the shot? Yeah? Dogs have to be in the shot? Okay, ah! Dogs have to be in the shot, apparently. It's very important that dogs always get in every single shot. It's very important. Okay. I've been on YouTube for a while now and I've gone through a lot of stylistic changes. I've done talking head and beauty videos and vlogs and experimental art videos. I even did an entire year of daily 360 videos. I've done video series using the HoloLens and virtual reality and dance videos. But one of the things I haven't experimented with as much that I realized while on this retreat is what is an audience and how do we interact? When I think about artists experimenting with the relationship between an artist and an audience, I often think about Yoko Ono and Maria Abramovich, how artists can interact with audience members in physical space. And while I don't know what it will look like yet, I do want to further that experimentation in virtual space. To me, the creator-fan dynamic is unsatisfying and instead I'm interested in developing something that is audience and performance artist. Please let me know about other virtual space performance artists that you're interested in. I'll stop talking. Let's go back to the forest. Good morning. I have lost all track of what day or how many days, but it is my last day and I'm headed home soon. And I wanted to say things about losing track of time. One of the reasons I wanted to run away from the city and come on a retreat was to get a change of pace and to not have a burned out brain and apparently losing track of time and is part of the way you do that. So. When I get back to the city, I guess I will try and find ways to lose track of time. I'm going to try and find ways to integrate all of these things into my, into my city human fullness. Um, because I really like the city and I am a city person. I really like being in the city. Um, and I don't actually think it's the city that makes you burned out human. Um, but sometimes you just need the other thing to get your brain to be like, chill out. So, but, is there a dog back there? There's always a dog. There's always a butt. There's always a butt close by. <laughs> 